New Day for Afro-Latin American Studies. The creation of the University Consortium for Afro-Latin American Studies was announced in December. A move expected to transform the studies of the history and culture of people of African descent in Latin America and the Caribbean. The Harvard Gazette, NFU Consortium Director Alejandro La Fuente, founding director of the African Latin American Research Institute at the Hutchins Center for Africa and African American Research at Harvard University. And the Robert was Bliss Professor of Latin American History and Economics about the new initiative and its groundbreaking approach. When asked why is the University Consortium for Afro-Latin American Studies significant, his answer was amazing. Open quote. What makes the consortium unique is that for the first time ever, universities across Latin America and the United States that have been working on issues of race or racial identification in Latin America for many years are now joining forces to promote the development of the field of Afro-Latin American studies, something that has never been done before. Of the almost 11 million Africans who arrived enslaved in the new world between the 16th and the 19th century, over 95% came to what today is Latin America and the Caribbean. Two thirds to the former colonies of Spain and Portugal. Brazil is the second largest black nation in the world after Nigeria. People of African descent are central even to the histories of countries that we do not associate with the, idea, with the African diaspora, such as Argentina, Peru, or Mexico. Lima and Mexico City were home to substantial African populations in the mid 17th centuries. One third of the population of Buenos Aires was of African descent as late as the 1800s. People forget that 75% of the people who arrived in Latin America during the colonial period came from Africa. They didn't come from Europe. We should now we should know now know more about the Kingdom of Congo, Angola than what we know about Spain. That's the promise of Afro-Latin American studies. We are really dealing as activists have tirelessly demanded for years with centuries of reassuring visibility here. The field is correcting what we think of Latin America. Even the name Latin America embraces the African contribution. The consortium is an attempt to transform these academic homes for African Latin American studies into permanent homes. The field will only grow going forward because unfortunately neither racial certifications or racial injustice will disappear from Latin America in the foreseeable future. I'm very happy to be partnering with the David Rockefeller Center for the Latin American Studies at Harvard. And I'm grateful for the Ford Foundation for supporting this endeavor with $1.7 million grant. This is an investment in the future of Latin America because the way that Latin America has been conceived and narrated privileged the European contributions to the region and erases the contribution of people of African descent. Everybody knows Philip II of Spain, but nobody can name the King of Congo. And yet it was a subject of the King of Congo who, who arrived in droves in the American, in Latin America in the, fifth, in the 1580s and early 16th centuries. In my young kids of African descent in Latin America who are going to school and don't learn anything about their ancestors, who were the ones who made these colonial societies rich and prosperous. This is not just an effort to correct that. This is a, a really an invitation to rethink Latin America from, through the contributions of people of African descent in the region. How refreshing, close quote, how refreshing is to see such a respect and well-established institution as Harvard University making the effort of rectifying the narrative, the narrative in educating not only American, but the world on how valuable and important is learning about African ancestry. Just in the U.S., there's 42 million of African descent, while there's 130 million in Latin America, and yet it's a fact that has actively been dismissed. My name is Tutti Baron, and I hope you like this story. You can find me at Tell with Tutti Podcast, Tell with Tutti Instagram, Tell with Tutti TikTok, and here in YouTube at Tell with Tutti. I'm thankful for this opportunity to share with you the knowledge and expand the knowledge and unite what we know as African diaspora, but in, indeed unite as all of us as African unity. Thank you so much.